Hey y'all, it's uh, October, middle of October. I just wanted to go over what I've learned about Oktoberfest beers uh, so far this year. We've been through five different Oktoberfests. The uh, Einger, Einger, I don't speak German, Jovel. Um The Rubens Fest beer out of Seattle. The Ninkasi Brewing Fest or Oktoberfest, their seasonal release. I think this is a Northwest beer as well. Um, the Sierra Nevada Oktoberfest. Um, interestingly enough, this year they were not working together with a German brewery like they usually do. Um, and then fifth, the Flocktoberfest by Black Raven Brewing. Um, I don't have any cans or bottles of that because I drank them all. It was good. So, um, just some quick observations. First, this uh, Eyinger bottom of the stack, it's probably a great beer. It's not fresh and it needs to be fresh. Um, I got one of those Costco holiday sampler packs last year and so many of the cans, two thirds of the cans were tinny. Um, this isn't a can and it still tasted tinny. So it's probably just shipping issues. It's probably not a problem with the beer itself. It's just not my cup of beer or mug of beer or urn of beer. Stein, it's not my Stein of beer. Um, next, Ninkasi. Ninkasi is known for some particular good skill with very hoppy brews. Oktoberfest isn't a hoppy beer, and to put hops at the level that Ninkasi does in this beer ruins it. It's not a bad beer. It tastes kind of like a Seven Seas Brewing Black Lager, or Black, sorry, Black IPA. Um, it's got that malty breadiness that you want from an IPA, but it's just too hoppy. Okay, so you like your sausages with your bitter hops? Okay, it'll work. It's just not a fest beer. It's not a Marzen. It's not an October fest. So it's not a bad beer. It's just not a good fest beer or Marzen or October fest. Um, which brings us to the three ones that I would recommend. Um, Sierra Nevada's October fest is a very interesting, very tasty beer. Um, it's got a slight bit of uh, bitterness. Uh, Sierra Nevada is also known for having some particularly good IPAs, um, but it's not overwhelming like the Ninkasi is. Um, Ruben's Fest beer is quite good as well. It's very, very bready, very malty, very, very tasty, um, but nothing really special going on. It's just, it's a good, good Fest beer in my experience. Um, based on my knowledge. Now, this is entirely, you know, amateur. I am no expert on this. Finally, and like I said, I don't have a can, but the Flocktoberfest, like a flock of birds, Flocktoberfest by Black Raven Brewing. I found that to be the most interesting, tasty uh, Oktoberfest beer while still remaining close to Oktoberfest. We're talking about your breadiness, your maltiness, your very low bitterness. Um, just super tasty. Um, it is a uh, local Northwest brew, so I'm not sure how easy it is going to be to get anywhere else. But if you find a few cans on the shelf, I highly recommend that you give that a try. Thanks a lot. Bye.